Well, here you go. It's running and it's just installing Windows. Or reinstalling, should I say. Interestingly, the um, the little one, the fans at the back, which should be noisy, are almost, as they said, silent. Um, and the water cooling fan is the one that's actually making a bit more noise. But it's it's not too bad, though, to be fair. But there you go. So can you see the um, water cooling uh, heart beating? Nice, isn't it? Right, ambient temperature in this room, okay, is 28 degrees. I'm outside of the case, you can see there's the cable, and I'm actually blowing air on it as well. If I turn that fan off when it was running hot earlier, let's see if it comes up. No, it's 28 degrees ambient in this room, okay, so that's very important. So the case was getting up to around 38 39 at some point when it really started getting warm it was getting to about 40 degrees but you're going to run up now this is a stress test you most of you should know this uh, piece of software um and what i'm going to do is um you can see at the moment it's running at 30.4 and when i first ran when i first turned this on it was running at 29 so it's about four or five degrees above ambient which makes sense because you're inside a sealed case um, but I'm gonna leave this to run if I'm gonna put it on benchmark it doesn't really matter about the settings all you need to know is which you can't see up in the corner at the moment it's running the seat the GPU's running at 60 degrees um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this and then I'm gonna come back once it's been running a couple of times and then you can see you can see it's already starting to go up it's now 31 and I found earlier on this got to about 37 degrees in the case but was it 37 35 we're gonna find out anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this now and I'm gonna let this run for a while wait till it gets up because now it's running at 72 73 degrees so the GPU is coming up in temperature and you can see likewise the internal is slightly coming up it's not as much as the GPU now key thing is in the design of the case I've allowed for the air obviously this is a great vent at the front and so the GPU is pulling air from this point here sucking it from the front up out the back and now anything that's ambient inside will there will be some heat spread in inside but then there's the three fans at the back that's sucking that out and the CPU which I don't think is being used very much is gonna suck the air straight down now really important now the air is coming out underneath here because it's from the base. It's blowing down. It's really important if you're going to have a, a water cooling solution or anything like that. You you really need these the rise. Now these ones are going to these are not going to be the, the size. They're whole they're too, way too big, so they're going to be the smaller versions ultimately. But you do need the risers to give that nice allow the air to escape. Now you can see we're up to 35 degrees and the GPU is now stable at 82 degrees and it sits at about 82, 83 degrees and I think it's you know it seems to be quite happy just sitting there and my frames per second I get about 120 frames per second it's running really nice. Yeah that is actually running really nice. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to leave it to run for five minutes and then we'll carry on. In fact no I don't know if it's actually you can see it's up to 34.7 inside. Now bear in mind the GPU has gone from 35, 40 degrees and you know like idle up to 82 degrees. And yet inside the case it's gone up four, so what, three degrees in the same time. Now I understand it takes a while for that heat to spread. But if you remember the last video I did, I was getting much, much higher temperatures than this. Um, so I, I think this is actually working quite well. I still don't think it's an overclocker's case. And, you know, you're going to take my word on this, okay? I've designed this with blower GPUs, not GPUs that blow the heat into the case. All right, because, you know, if you want to do that, go and buy a tower. Please don't give me the grief. Go and buy a tower. But if you do take my advice, there are there are a number of these blowers, blower, and I'm assuming everyone knows what I mean by a blower. You've got the fan at the at this end, and it's blowing through the case, through the GPU, and out the back of the case. Because at the back here, there's a load of hot air coming out the back of that, which is the way I designed this. And you can see here, it's actually not even that warm. It's really, it's actually quite nice. 
the air coming out the base. Nice. I mean, I've noticed the CPU's not even getting hot, so I've got this water cooling unit on it. It's not even getting warm, so. Um, look, 36.4, 36.5, oh, turn it back on again. Yeah. Yeah, we're up to 37. So, we'll, we'll leave this and we'll just, I'm going to see if it, how hot it gets now, and it's kind of stabilising now, look. Now, again, remember, I have got the fan behind me, okay? I mean, it, I, I'm hot. <laughs> it is hot in this room. Um, so, you know, we are outside, going by the BBC is 23 degrees. Inside the case and inside this room was about 29. So, um, you know, we've only, haven't even gone up by 10 degrees inside the case. So, you know, I think this is, but, you know, I'm going to leave this running for a minute. And you can see now, okay, so it's gone to 38, uh, 38.5. It's back down to 37, back to, yeah, 36. I wonder if that's um, I wonder if I move it a bit and it's, it's just it's floating around 36 to 38 seems to be what it wants wanting to do let's start another let's get the benchmark going again I don't want that let's run this benchmark again yeah so 37 I think 37 okay I still don't think this is a overclocker's case. Okay, I mean, I've got to be honest. But having that water cooling unit, funny thing is, you don't actually necessarily have to have a, uh, um, a water cooling unit. You could put one of those low profile fans on it, but still have a 120 in there fan just sucking the air out of it because it is removing the heat from the case. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not even warm, it's cold here. It's warm, it's warm here. You can feel a slight rise in temperature, but that's because it's got the GPU right there, and so the heat's rising. But as you can see, 38, 38.4. 30, I don't know if you can actually see that. 38. Yeah, 37.8. I do actually wonder if when I pull it, if it actually turns the cable, because it's actually like, on a, we can see it's on a wire. And I wonder if it moves the position like more this way, where it's cooler when I do that. <laughs> But look, that's still running. How, how long this video has been on for? Oh, Ten minutes. It's not. It's not got near forty yet. And that's inside the case. Now the other one was the other case with the uh, other GPU, which was not a blow, and it kept the heat inside. Was getting ridiculous the, the temperatures. But uh, I, I don't think that's too bad. And of course, like any computer, on a hot day, you do need a fan, you know, blow. And I have, as as I've shown you, I've got a fan that is rotating around the room just to, to get the air moving a bit. But um, in fact, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll turn the fan off. Here we go. Let's turn the fan off, see if it gets any hotter. Oh, hang on. No, back down again. <laughs> okay. See, now that might actually push the temperature up because I'm not blowing any cool air into the front. Now, if you want it in a normal normal day, you know, like for, well, for the UK, that would probably be about 25, 30 degrees. But we have got really hot weather at the moment, so. Ah, okay, here we go. Right, so hang on, let me show you. So now, without the fan on, I'm getting really, I'm getting hot anyway. But, of course, what's happening now is, of course, that the GPU is probably warming the room up. <laughs> So whatever you do, you're blowing, the, you know, even with a towel would suffer like this, you're blowing the hot air out and it's now circulating around the room. But that's, but it's only 40 degrees. See what I'm going to put the fan back on again? Because I'm, I'm absolutely cooking in it. Look. <laughs> See, it's all about, it all depends on the ambient temperature. So that is very important to understand. My, my ambient temperature in this room is 25 to 30 degrees in this room. Um, and the case now, with all this running, and the, the GPU's running at 84 degrees. And I haven't increased the fan on that either. I could increase the, the fan on that. But, you know, so that's that. And I'm 
probably going to um, I'm going to do some experimenting with um, the internal fans I've got some software to put on it at the moment it's just running at standard speed settings but I'm going to do that as well so anyway um, uh, that's that's for now you may find there's a little bit more added on to the end of this right okay um, I've now got Cinebench which is going to do a CPU stress test because at the moment nothing's stressing it so I'm running at 32.4 uh, which is slightly above ambient internal in the case because as I said when I first started this it was running at 29 degrees so that's running at 30, 32.6 I'm going to stress the life out of this CPU now and we'll see what we get what I might actually do just for fun I do have gonna kind of upset that in a moment. Ah, here we go. CPU. Yes. Look at that. 99% CPU. Where's, um... Where's it got? Oh, here we go. It's over there. Let's put that up there. Right. Right, so my CPU's been. Oh God, it's hardly. Um. Uh, was it? Does this thing tell me the CPU temperature? No, I think the fan. I think the fan software does. If you're not interested in this stuff, just tune out because it's only for those who are thinking of they want to run high-speed apps. Right. Right, we can see now. Oh, it's finished. Oh God, this is cooled down. Now what? Cooling is too good. <laughs> oh, it's not even risen the temperature internally. Um, let's try this again. Right, I may have to get you closer so you can see this. I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to give you a bit of a headache. Okay. So look should be able to see that right and you can see my temperatures there the the thing is i've got the and, and you can see the temperature that's inside the case okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this again okay and then that can rebuild that right now we can see the temperatures okay so I can see you can see the temperatures are starting to go up they're not really gonna but look it's not even moving you can see it's getting up to 37 degrees 30, 38 on the main I mean it's it's running at 100 percent I'm assuming it's still actually running 100 percent it should be um Hang on, let me get this back up again here. Yeah, 99%. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, 99%. So that's running flat out. It's still only 32 degrees. It's not even moving inside the temperature in the case. Um, well, I think we can... Look. I think this case is performing as I expected it. Let's be realistic about this. Um, that's 100% load on the CPU, unless you want to be pedantic, it's 99%. But that is pretty much running quite well. Um, yeah, it's coming with a reasonable score. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's not really loading it up, is it? And, it, and now let's look at the temperature, straight back down, 22 degrees. All right, let's try running the, um, right, I'm going to try running the OpenGL one now. Now, hopefully, this will mean, oh, God, uh, here we go. Right. 
Is it going to start using the... Um, uh, well, the GPU is slightly rising. It's not by much. This isn't really... I don't think this is actually really stressing it. No, that didn't do nothing, did it? Right, okay. Look, hasn't even moved. Right, another test. Sorry I'm holding this by hand. I'm now running that and I'm gonna kick this off and I don't know if this is gonna work. But if this doesn't put it under stress, I don't know what's gonna. So now you can see, See my GPU is getting up to 71, 72, the CPU is at 30, because it doesn't use an awful lot of CPU obviously. Now, uh, this is actually now starting to rise, 35 degrees, well that's good, it's starting to come up, because everything's being stressed. Ah, it's dropping back down again. Oh, hang on. Let's turn that back on again. 35. Right, so GPU, you can see on the temperatures up there, GPU's at 79, CPU's mid-30s, cup one, one core's up to 39. Um, but it is, you know, it's running two demonstrations at the same time, and, that, and this is running quite nicely, considering what it's doing. Oh, it's risen to 36. Oh, no, it's back down again, okay. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because it, this is performing how I thought it might. Yeah, people have been questioning the case about the temps, but... I mean, let's see, GPU, 82 degrees. It, it'll probably thought they won't let it go above that. But you can see, okay, so you can see the CPU's up to 39. That's water calling for you. See, this is the whole point. If I put my hand underneath here, it's, it's, it's a, no, it's not even warm. I mean, it's, I wouldn't like to say it's warm, it's, it's like tepid. If I stick my arm around the back of the GPU, that is, <laughs> that really is warm. <laughs> but the case is 637 now. It's, you know, it's no, not stressing at all. Bear in mind, the GPU is 82. And CPU's under 40 because water cooling. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, okay, it's 37.8. It's, it's slowly rising. We'll hang around for a minute. Oh, hang on, is that finished? Right, that's finished. Let me start that one off again because the, the CPU's dropping again. Right, let's run that again. Start that one up again. Still got the uh, whole thing running. I'm sorry about the shaking hands, but... It means I can do this. Oh, we're still at 38.1. Remember what I said, I have got my little fan on because I'm hot in here. As I said, in, in this room, the the the, the ambient temperature, temperature in the room, outside's apparently 24, but inside's about 28, 29. Inside the case was, when the case was powered, when it, before I even warmed it up, it was at 29 inside the case. Yeah, now if anyone says, oh, that's running really slow, that's big, look, it's running that as well. So this CPU is seriously banging. I've not even got the fans turned up. I mean, you can, my fan software actually doesn't, doesn't seem to want to work, but I, the fans are running up next to, no, you can't even hear them. Let's see, if I kill the volume, see if you can hear the fans. Let me turn this fan off. Oh, sorry. Can you hear that? You can just about hear it. No, I'm really pleased with this. Um, no, I'll, I'm not going to say so. No, I'm still not going to say it's meant for overclocking. But trust me, this is going to run any any GPU in here. As long as it's a reference style, it's a standard GPU. I'd be happy with the, with the Titan in this. You need a 600 watt power supply though. Oh, that, that's a good point. Um, I'm running this in a 450 SFX power supply as well, which I think was interesting. 
Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm actually quite bored with that. Oh, it's, ah, okay, it says actually now tipped up to 40 degrees inside. Let's run this again. Oh no, it's still working. It is getting, oh, because I've turned the fan off, haven't I? Let's put the fan back on again. See, it does, it does make a difference. Because I've got no air. It's bloody hot in this room. So this room's probably about 30 degrees itself. And it's only like 10 degrees more. And it's running all this. GPU's still at 82. But it's really hot what's coming out of the back in here. And the top of the case is warm. It's only there. There it's now tip. Now here it's cold. It's stone cold here. Absolutely stone cold. Oh, that's a good shot, wasn't it? Oh, the temperature's dropping down now. Now I'll put the fan on it because it's so bloody hot. Look, I'm, I'm bored now. I hope that's proved that this is a good little, good little case. And for normal use, not for overclocking, but for normal use, it's more than good enough. Thanks a lot. See you later.